Hello and welcome back. For this reading topic, we're going to ask what energy are you currently embracing? It pays to know what type of energy you're currently embracing because by being aware, whether this is consciously or unconsciously, you can actually shift your energy, most especially if it's not on the good side. So we have here three crystal options to choose from. All of them are quartz, by the way. For the first option, we have pineapple quartz. For the second option, we have clear quartz. And for the third option, we have milky quartz. Once you've selected your option, just click on the timestamps below. So, Pineapple Quartz. This is actually the very first time I've ever heard of this crystal, to be quite honest. So, when I saw this on this crystal shop, I was so drawn to it. It actually turned out to be a great crystal to work with if you're doing spiritual career or if you are a spiritual leader. So, anyway, let's try to find out what energy are you currently embracing. Spirit Guides, Archangels and Angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective we chose, group number one. You have here three of pentacles. You have here eight of swords. You have here six of staves in reverse. King of swords. You have here four of pentacles. And you have ten of pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck you have here four of vessels. Wow, very straightforward. Okay. So, I'm actually seeing here Swords Energies, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We also have here Earth Signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So, what energy are you currently embracing right now, group number one? Whether this is consciously or unconsciously. Right off the bat, they're actually showing me here that you are not contented about something. Okay, because you got the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is a card that talks about feeling bored or you're feeling discontented about something in your life. Whether this had something to do with your work or your career or even your finances. Because we see here a lot of cards that had something to do with your career or money in general. Okay, and so I feel that because of what's going on in your work situation or in your financial department, this is actually making you feel unmotivated or you're actually feeling really kind of like, yeah, in a very low vibrational energy. Some of you are also feeling as if that, yeah, you're stuck in her situation that there's not much progress with the six of staves okay because six of staves is talking about success and victory but you're feeling unsuccessful because of what's going on in your life at this very moment either you're not getting what you want or things are actually not really good around your finances or your business some of you are actually kind of like um afraid to do some necessary steps is what I'm hearing from the spirit. I don't know why, but that's really what I'm hearing. It's like you already have an idea, but it's like something is holding you back from taking action. That's really what I'm picking up here. So yeah, again, the main thing for group number one is that the energy that you guys are embracing is the energy of feeling discontented about something or you're not satisfied about how things are in your life, most especially around your work, your finances, or your career. So let's try to pull up another set of cards. Wisdom. Queen of Earth. Caring Connections. And then Thinking Woman. Okay. 
So again, I'm definitely seeing here based on these four cards that your spiritual guides are really encouraging for you to learn from the past. Okay. I feel as well that let's start off when it comes to love and romance because you got here this caring connections. I feel some of you are still really holding on to some past hurts regarding this person that you're romantically involved with or this is your romantic interests. And your spiritual guides are basically saying that things may have failed, all right? Things didn't work out according to what you want because you really love this person, but they're actually wanting for you to learn from it, okay? Connections that comes and goes in our life, they happen for a reason, all right? They appear in our life for a reason. Sometimes it's also because of we are going to be learning something from that connection or from that person. So I really feel that your spiritual guides wanted for you to apply the lessons as well moving forward. Okay. Others of you, they are showing me here something to do around your money, really. Okay. With the Queen of Earth. And we've seen that earlier, that you're not really feeling satisfied because of maybe there's actually something lacking around that area. And so again, your spiritual team is giving you this push or this encouragement, all right, to stand up, pick up the pieces, put your focus more, all right, on what's within your control. Do not put your focus on the things that you may have lost or things that are actually not working. They wanted you to be strong, and they wanted you to handle your situation in a very, very mature way. There's also something about being adaptable to some changes here, okay? That was so strong. Regardless of whatever scenario or challenge that you're faced with, your guys are basically saying they want you to be able to adapt to some changes that has occurred in your life right now. Whether it's around your career or your love life, okay? I'm also hearing that they don't want you to be spending so much time in overthinking, okay? Because by overthinking a situation, it would add more and more stress for you. Ask yourself, if I overthink the situation, would this actually help me solve the problem? If it's not going to solve the problem, if it's not going to change your present situation, why waste more time on that? Okay? Wow. Let's try to pull up another set of cards. What energy is group number one currently embracing? Okay. You have Love Begins. And then you have Bone Collector. Wow, there's a lot of repeating numbers before I actually pull up more cards. There's a lot of repeating numbers for group number one. You might be seeing 111 as well because you got your number one. And this is also number one. And earlier, you keep on getting the number four. So either you have been seeing 1111, 444. I won't be surprised because um, the veil is quite thin. And this is giving us an opportunity as well for our spiritual guides or ancestors to even, you know, reach out to us or we can actually connect with them since the veil is thin. So if you've been seeing those repeating numbers, you shouldn't be surprised because that's your ancestors and spiritual team trying to reach out to you. I feel honestly for group number one, you are being encouraged by your spiritual guides to meditate, okay? That is so strong. Um, if you're looking for some guidance, if you're feeling lost and all that, know that your spiritual team is actually embracing you. They're providing you comfort. And at the same time, they're encouraging for you to connect with them. Just ask. That's really what I'm hearing. When I saw this bone collector, I'm really, you know, picking up ancestors are actually really watching over you right now. They're giving you a lot of support right at this very moment, okay? Let's see. Let's try to pull up another set of cards before we discuss all of these. Yeah, you got your third eye chakra. And you have your happy success. 
Okay, this is very straightforward once again. So, with this love begins, I'm actually hearing a different message right off the bat. What I'm actually hearing is that the energy that you're currently embracing right now is that you're definitely feeling emotional. Some of you, you're lost in your thoughts or you kept on overthinking about your situation, which is making you emotional as well. At the same time, I feel that your energies are totally spent, okay? Because water is being poured over this river. So it's like you are really exhausted. Because remember, you got the Ten of Wands, if I'm not mistaken, earlier. Let me just go back. Was it Ten of Wands? If, it not, if it's not Ten of Wands, that's actually just the energy I'm getting in which you're just feeling totally spent. Like your energies are really drained. And this is encouraging for you to take a step back, for you to take a break, all right, and to rest. I'm also seeing here, based on the rest of the cards here, that your spiritual team or your ancestors are wanting for you to look at your past with this third eye to see your past differently, all right? If you're going to see your past as something that would keep you stuck or feel, you know, make you feel rather as if that you're trapped, okay, or that you can't move or that, yeah, I'm such a pitiful creature because of what this person did or because of I lost this or I lost that, then it's preventing you from becoming more optimistic towards your next step or as you move forward. That's really what I'm getting here. So I really feel that your spiritual team wanted you to release some negative emotions or feelings from your past. Okay? They wanted you to see your past differently. Because, again, you got the wisdom card. And, yeah, that's you applying your lessons, all right? Or applying the things they've learned from the past to your present. And then you got your happy success. This is actually what they wanted you to embrace. They wanted you to see, again, third eye is seeing. They wanted to see yourself as a successful person, okay? Don't see yourself as if that you are this poor, pitiful creature because of the failures or some setbacks that has happened for you. If you continue to live in that energy, that's going to be your reality. That's really what they're saying here. Okay, now let's move on to the next set of cards. Yeah, again, thank her. Wow. The path. So some of you are definitely really feeling lost and confused about direction of your life. That's really what I'm getting here. Like what I said, when I saw one of your cards, all right? Some of you are really feeling as if you're stuck, you're trapped. You don't know what's ahead. You don't know what is my next step. So... Again, that's the same message from your spiritual team. If you really needed to go within, if you really needed to get some guidance, even from your ancestors and spiritual team, they're encouraging for you to take a break, all right? Rest, meditate. Meditation is very, very strong for group number one. That's what I kept on hearing, all right? Instead of spending time really thinking about it, all right, or wasting your time or exhausting yourself and overanalyzing the situation. They wanted you to work on getting your balance back first, and you can achieve that through meditation and also by shifting your consciousness. Once you're able to get your balance back, once you're able to shift your consciousness, the path is also going to be clear for you. I tell you that because something is actually kind of like distracting you guys from seeing things clearly. All right. And part of the blockage, part of what's distracting you is more about the failures in your life or the things that are actually kind of like lacking in your life right now. Another repeating number is 444, four, four. and I said that earlier. You got it again with the number 44 over here, and if you add that up, it's number 8. This card is also 8. Gosh, there's a lot of repeating numbers. And like what I said, don't be surprised if you've been seeing so many synchronicities recently because of the veil is thin, all right? Use this time to communicate with your angels, your guides, your spiritual team, your ancestors, 
since the veil is quite thin, all right? And they've been sending you a lot of these repeating numbers because they have a message for you. They're definitely aware of what you're going through. They know that your main energy is the Four of Cups. You're not really feeling satisfied. You're discontented about something. You're unhappy about something. Something is definitely making you feel all stressed out and tired or exhausted. So, yeah, let's see what else. Parenting, okay. And then you have here the land between. So again, we see here there's something about directions. You got the path over here. And then you got the land between where there's actually two separate paths. So I'm really seeing here for group number one, the energy that you're currently embracing on top of you are feeling really um, stressed out or you're actually feeling discontented about your current situation. Some of you are also feeling confused about your next path or what to do about your current situation. You're feeling lost, in other words, all right? You're confused about which direction, which path should I actually take? Is it on the left or is it on the right? Okay. Others of you got the parenting card. I'm hearing a very specific message right now from Spirit. First, somebody watching group number one, you may be a single parent, okay? And you're really worried over your kid's future as well. I don't know who is this for. Either um, you are kind of like, stress out about the survival of your kids i don't know why i'm hearing that because of there's lack of money or you're really stressed out about your problems at work there's something about you needing to juggle two things all at once that's another thing i'm hearing right now okay others of you the parenting card had something to do with your issue with your parents all right that could also be part of the challenge right now for some of you I'm even hearing somebody's kind of like thinking of moving away from their parents' home. You're wanting to be independent. You're wanting to kind of like, yeah, start um, on your own path. Like you don't have to depend on your parents anymore. I don't know. I'm really getting that. And I'm hearing the name Clarice. What the freak? That was so specific. I don't know who is that. Clarice is the name, okay? And actually, they're saying it's a young woman. Maybe you just graduated or what, but I'm hearing that as well. But you're kind of like torn whether should I actually leave my parents or am I actually strong enough or can I do it? Can I be independent now? I don't know who is that for. But yeah, there's so many specific messages I notice, honestly. But to put it in a general way, there's something about you guys kind of like feeling confused right now on which path to take, all right? Or the next direction of your life. All right, let's try to pull up another set of cards here. Yeah, he got your leadership and then solitude. Oh my gosh. So your spiritual team wanted you to see yourself as a leader. You are strong. You have the ability to take control of your life as well. All right. Just like with this polar bear. So there's something about survival, really. I keep on hearing it. Somebody's really afraid or fearful about their survival. So maybe because of the things that are lacking currently, whether it's actually uh, some problems around work or your money, okay? But your spiritual team, your ancestors are saying you are strong. You are independent. They wanted you to embrace bravery as well. They are wanting for you to contemplate about that. Again, for you to see yourself differently as well. There's really something about that too, okay? Do not see yourself as a pitiful creature or that I can't do this, I can do that. That is going to be your reality, all right? 
see yourself differently. I keep on hearing that from your ancestors or your spiritual team. They wanted you to reflect upon that on how you view yourself and your current situation. If you continue to see yourself as a victim, you can't expect for things to actually change in a positive way. Because that's, like what I said, going to be your reality. But once you're courageous enough to shift that and see yourself as a victor, okay, not a victim of some circumstances, but as a victor, things are going to be shifting positively for you. Okay, so yeah, let's try to pull up another set of cards. Discipline. I can't accomplish what I set my mind to. Exactamundo, we were just talking about that. Because thoughts create reality, like what I always say in my readings, okay? So... If you continue to think negatively about yourself or about your situation, that's really going to be um, your reality, okay? So they wanted you to shift your thoughts, group number one. And I notice as well, you have a lot of cards around thoughts. Even the Eight of Swords at the very beginning of this reading, because Eight of Swords is actually more of like an illusion. And you're trapped in your own thoughts, basically. So... Your guides are encouraging for you, all right, to be mindful of what are you planting in your mind, okay? And to believe that you can accomplish whatever it is that you set your mind to. If you continue to think of yourself as, I am a victor, I am a success, that's going to be your reality. So, yeah, start off with positive thoughts, group number one, okay? And that's the discipline that needs to be done on your side as well. Let's see, what else? You got here, your dreams need a practical plan, okay? And then you have here a win-win outcome. It's forecast and you have belief in the impossible. So yeah, for some of you, maybe it needs to be kind of like adjusted a little bit about this plan that you have in your mind, all right? Um, is it practical? Is it really necessary? All right. Maybe there are some tweaks. That's what I'm hearing right now from your spiritual guides or some adjustments that needs to be done or to make sure that whatever it is that you are manifesting, it's actually going to be practical as well for you. And it's not to say that if things didn't work out for you in the past or currently, that's not to say that you should give up on it. Okay. Nothing is impossible. That's what your ancestors are saying or your spiritual team. And again, they say here, there's a win-win outcome as a forecast for you guys. I feel that there's also something to do with balance with the scales of justice, all right? So maybe there are some things that you needed to kind of like weigh a little bit, all right? So maybe, yeah, that's actually why you got the contemplate card or the solitude card. So I really feel that maybe you are being encouraged as well to contemplate about this decision to make sure that everything else is fair and balanced, all right? Well, it's not only going to be a win in your side, but for others as well. All right, let's try to pull it more. What energy is group number one currently embracing? All right, do you have color? You have childhood and you got your failed. So yeah, there's a lot of confusion here, okay? That's really the energy I'm picking up for group number one. There's a lot of confusion on, for some of you, it's about the next path or the next direction of your life, all right? Something is making you feel confused here. It's like you're not seeing things clearly, all right? And others of you, because of your situation, it's really affecting your emotions. That's what I'm getting. Others of you, with this childhood card, there's actually something to do with you needing to kind of like incorporate fun into your life again. That's really what I'm hearing right now from your guides. 
which will make a difference as well for you. Because again, your overall energy at the very start of the reading, it's the four of cups in which you're feeling bored. You're not feeling passionate about your life anymore. All right. You're not feeling satisfied. So I feel your spiritual guides are wanting for you to put your focus on what would excite you again. What would make you feel excited like a kid? What would actually bring color into your life? Put your focus there as well. Or for you to incorporate fun into your day-to-day -day life as well is another thing that I'm hearing yeah oh my gosh I'm also picking up that a lot of you chose group number one you may be sensitive to energies as well some of you are probably empaths and if you are resonating with that as an empath myself yes it's true because the energies of the world is so soggy and it's so negative honestly and i'm pretty sure you also felt that yourself and so knowing all that you've got to protect your energy there's something about you needing to cleanse your aura every now and then okay or to create some energetic boundaries for yourself because of the energy that is being felt around the globe so for some of you, if you're not necessarily going through a rough lot, but you're kind of like wondering, why am I feeling lost? Why am I feeling confused? Why am I feeling suddenly depressed? And you can't figure out why because you know deep down like you're perfectly fine, but then all of a sudden you're getting all of these, you know, feelings and emotions. That's because you are sensitive to energies and it's really evident that the energies of the world is not that really good, okay? Um, there's so many changes that are happening around the world, even our climate. It's a climate crisis already, you guys. So knowing all that, you really got to protect your energy to do a lot of meditation and balance because that's the strongest message as well that I'm hearing from your guides, okay? So yeah, before we wrap things up, let's actually pull up a random message for you. Let's do that. Start off with this one. Any message for group number one, please? You have your tranquility. All right. And it says here, trust. All will turn out well. Oh my gosh, you guys. Everything will fall into place. Peace of mind and tranquility are soon restored. So yeah, that's exactly what we were just talking about earlier, right? So I'm getting here that for group number one, that's the reason as to why you are currently embracing that energy because of maybe um, you're feeling heavy about your situation. You're feeling lost. You don't know what's going to happen. All right. You're trying to find your way out of this particular problem of yours. And it's actually making you feel anxious all right there's a lot of anxiety and stress for group number one but they say here that peace of mind and tranquility will soon be restored for you isn't that gorgeous let's actually get one last card for you before we wrap things up okay we have here two of abundance and it says here life may be feeling a little out of balance are you freaking kidding me that's why we were just talking about that Oh my gosh, I just love the synchronicity of this reading. So again, life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. You could be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change in your dream career. It's important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child. No wonder you got the childhood card. No wonder earlier I really heard from your guides. They wanted you to incorporate fun into your day-to-day -day life, even in, even in your work. Okay, yeah. You got here childhood. So that makes sense. And it says here, make your work as playful as possible. Multitasking with a positive attitude brings success. I just love how everything is matching. My gosh, even with that inner child thing over there, right? That's why when I saw the childhood card, I keep on hearing from your guys are saying incorporate fun you know, into, or rather play into your life, all right, into your day-to-day -day life and your work. And yeah, that's actually going to be making some 
positive changes as well for you. Some of you needed to regain your balance back because the situation has left you feeling imbalanced, just like what I said at the very start of this reading, right? So that's why I was blown away when I saw this Two of Abundance card, which is also about balance. And yeah, so if you're feeling a little out of balance right now, now that you're aware of what energy you're currently embracing, you do have the power to shift it, okay? Only if you're going to give your permission to shift it because everything boils down to your own decision or your free will, right? If you're going to allow yourself to be in this pessimistic mood or negative state of thinking, then you can't expect a positive, you know, reality to happen for you. Okay, so now that you're aware of these things about what energy you're consciously or unconsciously embracing right now, know that you are a powerful being, that you do have the power to shift your consciousness, to shift your energy. In order for you to achieve balance, you can actually start working from within, either through meditation, getting some time to take some rest, to rejuvenate, recharge your batteries again, all right? Yeah, there's so many ways on how to actually achieve perfect balance again. But this is really what your guys wanted for you to know, all right? So you can actually um, quickly shift the energy that your guys are currently in. So anyway, that's all I have for you, group number one. Very, very interesting. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next week. Ta-ta! So it's your turn, group number two. You chose clear quartz. And let's find out what energy are you currently embracing right at this very moment, whether it's consciously or unconsciously. And like what I said at the start of the video, it pays to know what type of energy you're currently embracing. That way, if it's something not so good, then you do have the power to shift it. So let's get started now. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective who chose group number two. All right, you have here the emperor in reverse. Nine of pentacles. Queen of pentacles in reverse. You have the devil. Ooh, the world. Okay. And yeah, you got the three of swords. Bottom of the deck, you have the five of vessels. Again, very straightforward from spirit. So, I'm seeing here a lot of earth signs. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. We have Capricorn on the table. And then we also have Taurus over here. We also have Aries as well, if it's actually fire. So, group number two. What energy are you currently embracing right at this very moment, whether it's consciously or unconsciously? Well, right off the bat, you got your five of vessels, which is your overall energy. And five of vessels is actually talking about crying over spilt milk. It's also talking about you dwelling on the past. So I really feel that this is something that you need to look into. Now that you're aware that your main energy is this, in which you may be kind of like dwelling over some past event, things that would only make you feel emotional, would frustrate you, would make you feel disappointed, guilty, or whatsoever, all right? This is something that you needed to work on or even release, okay? Because it's not going to be helpful for you not only in your physical health, but emotional and mental health as well, all right? Because you got here the devil. This is actually not really good, okay? So a lot of you guys, because of things are actually not happening according to what you want or that you are still dwelling over the past, it's putting you in a very low vibrational energy, okay? Your guys wanted you to take control of your life again because I'm getting here with the emperor in reverse where some of you are not feeling confident. You're feeling lost. You're actually feeling powerless. So this is a wake-up call for group number two to reclaim your power back. You do have the power to change your situation only if you allow yourself to do that. 
However, if you're going to be allowing yourself to be in this energy of the Five of Cups in which you keep on crying over spilt milk or you keep on dwelling on past events that are painful for you, that is not going to change your situation, all right? You would only find yourself feeling stuck. You would only find yourself putting your focus on the things that would upset you or put you in a very sad state. So I'm getting here that first and foremost, your guides wanted you to heal whatever this three of swords is for you that gave you heartbreak or that feeling of loss. Okay. And at the same time, they wanted you to step away from this five of cups energy because again like what i said it's putting you in a very low vibrational state they wanted you to recognize your power once more you are stronger than what you think that's really what i'm getting here okay so yeah let's see let's try to pull up another set of cards what energy is group number two currently embracing spirit okay well, you got your colors and numbers. This colors and numbers card is basically talking about you not really liking how things are in your life or something is not adding up in your life, okay? Which is, again, putting you in a very, very lonely, very, very sad state or emotional state. Some of you, you are kind of like seeing yourself in a very... Um, pitiful way that's really what i'm hearing okay i don't know what is that for but you may be kind of like um playing like a victim or you're seeing yourself as if that you were a victim not for all of you but that's what i'm hearing right now and it's about time for you to shift that okay if you continue to see yourself that way you would never see a positive outcome it's only going to be piling up more negativity in your life. Really, I tell you that, group number two. Some of you with this grandfather clock, there's something about you were playing the past, okay? There's something about the past that you kept on going back to. But again, like what I always say, time is an irreversible arrow. No matter how much you try to replay events from the past, it's not going to change the present, so think about that. That's what your guides wanted you to remember, okay? They wanted you to honor the feelings that you're currently having, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. If you're hurt, go ahead. Embrace it, all right? You are a human being experiencing human emotions or feelings and experiences. But when it's about time to let it go, all right, have the courage to let it go there is a difference between moving on versus moving forward moving on there is a tendency for you to go back again especially if you're triggered but when you say to yourself i am moving forward just like with this image over here with the clock and then the balloons that's you finally having the courage to drop all of those things from your past that are not going to help you anymore to release all of those burdens, baggages, things that are actually getting in the way for you, things that are actually not for your highest good because you wanted to move forward and you wanted to start on a brand new chapter of your life without allowing past events, traumas, hurts, wounds to interfere with this brand new chapter that you're about to take on, okay? So yeah, for this card, this is suggesting to us, group number two, that the energy for you is that something is not adding up in your life. And obviously, you're not really happy about this. Okay, let's try to pull it more. Yeah, you got your masculine, feminine. So there's something around balance here for group number two, okay? Next, you have your material harvest.
Then you have your contract. Again, if I'm not going to read this as contract, look at this image. We see here scales of justice, and then he also got your masculine, feminine. Both are also talking about balance. So I really feel for group number two, the energy that you're embracing right now is that because of the things that we have seen so far in which something is not adding up in your life, um, you may be kind of like dwelling in the past or you're still hurt over the past and you're having a hard time moving forward from it. It's actually making you feel in balance. Okay. That's really what I'm getting here. For others of you, I'm also picking up very strongly that some of you are also struggling around your finances here with this material harvest, okay? Um, I feel that challenge of yours is also making you feel imbalanced. But yeah, like what I said, group number two, your spiritual guides wanted you to put your focus on what's within your control or whatever it is that's right in front of you, they can actually have um, control of, okay? But for the things that is related to your past, in which you don't have any control of that either, all right? Then it's about time to let it go, okay? That's really what I'm getting here. All right, let's try to pull up more. Sacred pool. Feeling alone. Oh, wow. This is very, very straightforward. So, first, this is the Five of Pentacles energy. All right? So, a lot of you chose group number two since we've seen that something is not adding up or you are frustrated over something. Your energy is more towards what is not working around in your life. Your energy is more glued towards the things that are lacking in your life. And this is a sign from your spiritual team that you need to have the courage to step away from that consciousness or from that energy. By being in a lack energy, all right, you're just going to be putting your entire focus on what I don't have at the moment. Whether it's time, money, energy. I don't have this person. And it's really going to make you feel sad or upset, frustrated, emotional, or even depressed. But then again, if you can remember, you have the Emperor card. They wanted you to turn things around because they believe that you do have the power to shift it. That you can continue. Take control. There you go. You can take control of your life once again by stepping away from this energy. Okay? It's also quite interesting because I just posted a quote because my guides wanted me to post that quote. It had something to do with um, having the courage to be happy for no reason at all. All right? Or to be happy without any reason at all. Otherwise, your happiness would be conditional, all right? And you would only, you know, see yourself as a victim of some circumstances. So yeah, I feel that quote is applicable for group two situation. Let's see, what else? Yeah, I got here, true love and then gratitude. Oh my gosh, we were just talking about the lack consciousness because you got the five of pentacles and now he got the great gratitude. Okay, so for the true love, for some of you, this is about a person that you love. But it can also be not necessarily a romantic interest. It can be something that you love so much in which you don't have it anymore, all right? Because again, you got three of swords and three of swords is talking about heartbreak or loss. And because you no longer have this, whatever this is for you, like what I said, it's putting you in that depressive state. It's putting you in a state in which you keep on crying over it. Although it is normal for you to acknowledge the pain of losing something that is very dear to you and it's okay, but what your guys are saying you have to help yourself to release that emotion. You have to help yourself to heal from it. And you can heal from that painful wound by not 
touching it over and over again. Because again, the overall energy for group number two is the Five of Cups. And Five of Cups is you dwelling in the past. Okay? And then he got great gratitude. I feel that this is the consciousness that your spiritual team wanted you to embrace at this very moment, which is very applicable because we've seen the Five of Pentacles card in which it's actually talking about lack or poverty consciousness. Spirit wanted you to be grateful for the things that you still have at the very moment. Like what I said, I love that quote, which is about you needing to be happy for no reason at all. Or learning how to be happy for no reason at all. Instead of actually making, you know, um, your happiness so conditional. Like you can only be happy if you have this or if you have that. Okay? And so it really applies to this. I really feel that your spiritual team wanted you to put your focus more on what you should be grateful about or to appreciate what you still have. Start from there. That's what they're saying. Okay? Because I tell you, group number two, if you keep on putting in your focus on what you don't have, you'll never have enough. You will never have enough. Okay? So, that's actually the energy that you can embrace, the energy of gratitude, instead of actually allowing yourself to be putting your focus on the things that you no longer have, or things that did not work out for you. Because again, the Five of Cups is talking about there are still some two cups standing, meaning there's still hope. You still have a chance to turn things around. You still have a chance to pick up the pieces in your life, all right? So, yeah, think about that, group number two, okay? All right, let's see what else. You got the fates. Focus. Mm-hmm. And then attraction, exactly. Because again, it's kind of like law of attraction. Honestly, when I saw this attraction, it's more about, yeah, the law of attraction. And, and also, I noticed you have a lot of repeating numbers too, just like group number one. And for repeating numbers, I noticed it's number five for group number two. You might be seeing five, five, five a lot. So five talks about changes. So either some of you are being encouraged by your spiritual team to be adaptable to changes or there's something that you really needed to change so you can actually also see some positive changes in your reality all right there might be something that you really needed to release or let go off so you can see a different reality for yourself for instance what is your current focus right are you putting your focus on the things that would uplift you, the things that would actually be beneficial for you, right? But if you keep on putting your focus on things that would just put you in a low state or would upset you, frustrate you, or make you mad or whatsoever, that's it. Where your focus goes, that's where the energy flows. And that's kind of like the law of attraction here, okay? For some of you, you might be always questioning with the Fates card. You may have been putting your focus more on the questions of why is this happening? Or why did I meet that person? What is the purpose? So again, don't overthink. All right? Because by overthinking some certain areas or some specific things in your mind and if you're not getting the answer it's just really going to upset you or put you in a very very stressful energy so yeah the main message here for group number two is to be mindful about where you put your focus on okay where you put your focus on that's what you're going to be attracting with this attraction card so Start off with that. Now that you're aware that this is mostly the energy that you're embracing, start now by shifting it, okay? Put your focus on what will uplift you. Put your focus on what's going to raise your vibration. Every time you catch yourself being um, 
triggered by something or every time you catch yourself being in a very negative state, always try to tell yourself, okay, all right, I acknowledge this. I'm just a human being. If I'm pissed, I'm pissed. I'm going to let it all out. And then afterwards, shift it, okay? Nobody's saying that you shouldn't feel that way. That's not the point of what this is all about, all right? It's more about you, all right, acknowledging those feelings and then later on helping yourself to overcome that painful experience or emotion or whatsoever. Otherwise, you would be feeling that way forever or you would find yourself feeling stuck or trapped in that particular emotion or negative feeling or emotion. All right, so let's move on to the next set of cards, shall we? Environment. I notice you keep on getting the number 44. Yeah, I just got that earlier. So on top of number 5, you might be saying 444 a lot. Or the number 44. And just like for group number 1, I also shared this to them. Um, you might be receiving a lot of synchronicities, whether it's in the form of repeating numbers or whatsoever. And that's because the veil is really thin, okay? And it's giving us an opportunity as well to connect with our guides, our ancestors, all right? Make use of that time to connect with them, to gain more guidance from your spiritual team. Okay, you got your body and soul, and then you have your merry motive, Okay, so yeah, some of you are not really happy with the current environment that you guys are in. So whether it's work environment or there's just something that's putting you in a very low vibrational state, which is draining you. That's really what I'm getting. Some of you are having a hard time adapting to this new environment that you guys are in. And because of your used to the past or whatever it is that you've been doing in the past, it's kind of like hard for you to accept the present. I don't know who is this for, but that's what I'm hearing. For instance, this is just a perfect example so you can get my drift. Let's just say you move to a new location. And so now that you are in this new location, this new environment, you're kind of like not satisfied or not happy. So you have the tendency now to kind of like compare the present um, from your past. So again, if you're resonating with that, your guides are basically saying that you have to be adaptable to some changes. Whatever this is, whether it's change of environment, uh, work, whatever, okay? Relationships even, right? Because again... You have here the dragonfly, and dragonfly is also talking about changes and transformations. It's also talking about maturity, all right? And it's also talking about you um, being more flexible to grow, all right? To be open-minded as well. And again, you got your merry motive, so I really feel that... Your ancestors, your spiritual guides wanted you to put your focus on what's really going to make you happy, all right? What will really make you inspired or what is actually going to lift your spirits up. That's another thing that I'm getting here when I saw this card. So yeah, everything is energy. Now that you're aware, you do have the power to change it, you guys. And again, speaking of change, you have the number five again. This is like, what, the third time you got it? So on top of 444, you might be seeing number 5 a lot. And those repeating numbers are there for a reason. You've got to pay attention to that. There is actually a message from your spiritual team, especially now that the veil is thin, that they wanted to kind of like deliver for you guys. So let's pull it more. Adventures, all right. For some of you, by the way, before we continue, when I saw that environment card, I really feel as well that some of you are kind of like empaths too, in which you're very sensitive to the energies around you. Um, and so if you are, 
then you have to be careful as well in protecting your energy, okay? That happens a lot, especially nowadays, since the energy of the world is not really good, okay? I'm pretty sure you're well aware of that. There's a lot of heaviness. There's a lot of soggy energy. Um, and if you're feeling as if that I don't have any problem, but I don't know why I'm feeling this way, that's it. It's actually the energies around your environment or the energies of the world. And so just try to ground, okay? That's really what I'm getting. Spend some time in nature with this adventurer's card. Yeah, you got your worry. Right, right, right. Oh, wow. Let's pull up one more first. Well, you got two. Next, you got here, a new romantic cycle begins. And then you have here, take time to breathe out. So, I'm definitely seeing here for group number two that the energy you're currently embracing is that you are in this energy of stress and worry, okay? So, you may be overthinking something. For a lot of you, it is related to your past because you got the five of cups, okay? And so, again, it's the same message from your spiritual team. They wanted you to release the worry or any stress that you may have because it's not going to be changing anything anyway. Always ask yourself, if this is not going to solve the problem, why should I spend more time or waste more time and energy towards that particular situation, right? They are encouraging for you as well to take some time out. You got to take time to breathe out. Don't be too hard on yourself, group number two. Relax, all right? It would also be beneficial for group number two to go out in nature or to spend some time in nature. When I saw this adventures card, I really feel that this is going to help you to kind of like, yeah, shift your energy as well so you can stay grounded. And speaking of grounding, yeah, that's another thing that you can actually do to achieve balance. Maybe this is a time for you to regain your balance by meditation, all right, or going out in nature so you can stay focused again. You can actually be a lot more focused and calm, all right? Because even with this new Romantic Cycle Begins card, even if I don't read it as is, I'm drawn to this image. It shows scales of justice again. So there's really something about balance for group number two as well, just like group number one. And yeah, if it's all about romance which is actually making you feel um, emotional or you're really, you know, upset or worried over um, somebody that you're interested in, okay? Again, like what I said, it says here, your guys wanted you to learn that worry doesn't change an outcome or stressing yourself out over that situation is not going to change everything anyway. So don't be too hard on yourself. Be in the flow, all right? Because I'm drawn to this waterfall. And for me, waterfall is more of like, yeah, a symbolism for you to just allow things to flow, all right? Effortlessly. So, yeah, let's see. Let's try to pull up another set of cards before we pull up some random messages for you guys. Anything else? Oh my gosh, now you got stillness. So yeah, you guys, you're being encouraged by your team, your spiritual team to be still, be at peace. Take some time to breathe out, right? Because everything else is quite overwhelming for group number two. Um, and it's not going to be beneficial for your health, really. Yeah, you got your departed loved ones, see? You are loved more than you'll ever know. Like what I told you, the veil is really thin. Your loved ones in spirit, your spiritual team, your ancestors are really trying to reach out to you, group number two. So even if you're not seeing such repeating numbers like 555 in this case or 444 for a lot of you, know that your loved ones in spirit are looking over you, all right? They're watching you. They're sending you love and light, okay? And obviously, they are not liking how things are going in your life, but they are hoping at the same time that you will have the courage to shift your energy. The way that we can actually help our spiritual team, by the way, just to share to you guys, is for you to stay positive. 
do you know that every time you put yourself in a stressful situation, it's also not going to be helpful for your guides because they are your guides. So it will actually give them, yeah, some problems that they need to work on you. They need to kind of like help in your situation. So the way that you can really help your spiritual team is for you to help yourself to become positive in your approach in life. And to do anything that is going to be beneficial for you in your life. Okay? So, yeah. In this case, I'm getting here for group number two. That you are also being encouraged to take a step back. Not be too hard on yourself. Release the worries, the anxieties. Release the past. That's only making things heavier for you. And you can also meditate. I feel that for group number two, there is a need for you to be doing that to, to regain your balance or to reclaim your balance. Let's pull up one last card before we pull up some random messages. Okay, you got your uniqueness. So, I'm seeing here that your spiritual team or your guides wanted you to honor, all right, yourself. See yourself as a very beautiful, unique individual as well. Maybe there's also a message around that for some of you to kind of like see yourself differently too, okay? You're perfect just the way you are, group number two. Some of you might be kind of like seeing yourself as if you're small just because things are actually not working or just because you failed on something and it actually kind of like affected your confidence or the way you see yourself. And then I'm drawn to this image over here and we see here this, yeah, kind of like the hands of the lobster. So there's something about financial pinch for group number two, all right? So some of you are probably struggling over money or around your career at this very moment. And yeah, I'm drawn to this dark skies and we see here a rainbow. So I really feel that your spiritual spiritual team are wanting for you to stay optimistic. And they're kind of like saying here that, yeah, the heavier the storm, the stronger the rainbow. I'll leave you with that, with this image, okay? So, let's try to pull up some random messages for you. And my left ear is buzzing right now. Oh my gosh. All right. Signs from spirit, for sure. Any message for group number two? You have karma. It says here, someone from the past reemerges in your life. This gives you the opportunity to handle things differently than you did before. Stand firmly in your power, yet stand also in the light of love. The universe is presenting you with a fresh opportunity to clear away any lingering karma linked to this relationship. So not necessarily that this person is going to be appearing right before you, all right? But maybe... Something is actually going to be coming back, um, like in the form of memory, all right, about this person from your past in which you may have some karmic lessons with, all right. But again, this will give you the opportunity to do things differently. They also wanted you, again, to clear away, again, any karma related to this relationship or this connection. Whoever this is for you, group number two, okay? Let's actually pull up another message for you guys. You have here, are you kidding me? You got five of cups again. Your overall energy at the very start of your reading is five of cups. And the last card that we pulled up for you, it's five of cups or five of emotion on this deck. I can't believe this. This is so crazy. And I, oh gosh. And like what I told you, you keep on getting the number five. So that is really a clear, clear sign from your spiritual team that there's something that you really needed to shift or change. And this is for your highest growth. This is for your highest good. So let's read this. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is the normal part of life. 
Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can get back on the path to joy. It's crazy because we were just talking about moving on versus moving forward. Moving on is going to give you an opportunity to still hold on to the past. Honestly, you may have told yourself multiple times, no, I've moved on from that connection. I've moved on from this person, but then only to find out you will be triggered again and you will find yourself as well realizing that I still haven't moved on from the past. And so moving forward is the best way to go because by moving forward, like what I said, you are courageous enough to let things go. You're dropping away anything from your past that is just interfering with your present. Okay? So I really feel since you got the five of cups again, this is really creating a blockage for a lot of you, group number two. If you wanted to have a brand new beginning for yourself, if you wanted to be on the path towards joy and happiness, then have the courage to release the past. For some of you, this is a time for you to forgive yourself and to forgive others from your past. And forgiveness means you just let it go. I'm letting it go. I'm not going to be dwelling on it in, anymore, right? Because, again, it's just going to create a blockage for me. So, yeah, that's all I have for you, group number two. I so freaking love your reading. So far, this, I feel, is my favorite. I hope this gave you clarity because you chose clear quartz, okay? I wish you all the best in your journey. And as always, I'll see you next week. So it's your turn, group number three, you chose Milky Quartz. Let's find out what energy are you currently embracing. And like what I said at the very beginning of the video, it pays to know what type of energy you're currently embracing. That way, you are aware of what you can actually do about it. For instance, if it's something not so good, then you have the power to shift it, right? So let's get started now with your reading. Spare guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective which chose group number three. All right, you have your seven of staves. You have here knight of pentacles in reverse. You have nine of staves. You have king of vessels. Ten of vessels in reverse. And then you have here seven of pentacles. Bottom of the deck you have here page of pentacles. Okay. So we have a lot of earth signs here. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. We also have water signs. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And then fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. So. For group number three, for some of you, the energy that you're currently embracing is that you are not happy about something with the Ten of Cups in reverse. And upright, this is talking about you feeling satisfied or you're really feeling so happy. So with this in reverse, something is really making you feel unhappy about your situation, whether it's around your finances, your love life or whatsoever. For some of you, I'm also picking up very strongly that the energy that you're currently embracing is that you are kind of like very much guarded right now, like you are very defensive or there is a need for you to kind of like, yeah, put up some walls or you wanted to put your guards up because of you wanted to protect yourself from something. That's another thing that I'm also getting here. And then lastly, I'm also picking up the energy of impatience, okay? Some of you are already kind of like feeling impatient, maybe because of you're not getting what you want, which is why this Ten of Cups is in reverse. You're not satisfied with it because you're not still getting what you want. I'm also picking up very strongly with this Nine of Staves that some of you are being encouraged by your spiritual team to... Take a step back or look at the bigger picture of things as to why you're not getting this, okay? Maybe there's something that you are not quite seeing clearly right at this very moment. But I feel that sooner or later, you are going to be learning what that is, okay? 
also, I'm picking up very strongly for group number three that, um, yeah, there's also something about you are being asked by your spiritual team to kind of like be optimistic about your situation because if you're always going to be putting your focus on what you don't have at the moment, just like for group number two, that is actually going to make things a lot more worse for you, all right? Because again, I'm drawn to this page of pentacles. It seems as if things are actually small, all right? Like you don't like what's in front of you. But the Ten of Cups is something that you really want. And of course, you do have the right to dream big. You do have the right to want to achieve this Ten of Cups. We all have the right to dream about this, right? But it's not to say that you won't have it. It's just that maybe, all right, um, you have to be patient. That's more of like what I'm getting here for group number three. You just really needed to be patient with your situation as well as with yourself. I also notice you keep on getting, let's see here, the number seven. Yeah, because you got seven of staves. I notice there's a lot of repeating numbers for all three groups. And that's not surprising because the veil is quite thin. And that's giving us an opportunity to connect more with our guides, our ancestors, or our spiritual team. Okay, so let's see here. Let's try to pull up more. What energies group number three embracing you got the gratitude i was just talking about that so just like for group number two for some of you guys you may be having a hard time appreciating what you currently have i was just talking about that less than a minute ago because spirit wanted me to highlight that as well for group number three remember you got the page of pentacles and what i actually saw there is that you are feeling as if that what you have at the moment is so small all right and you wanted the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is giving you that ultimate satisfaction, all right, a bright future. And again, you deserve that. That's what your guys are saying. But it's not to say that just because you're not getting it right at this very moment that you won't have that Ten of Cups someday. However, there is a need for you first to appreciate everything that you have right at this very moment in time. And just like what I said for the other group, you will never feel enough, especially if you keep on putting your focus on the lack of things, all right, or the things that you don't have at the moment. So just like with this gratitude card, it says here, Appreciate everything and everyone in your life. Focus on the things you do have rather than the things you don't or can't have. But like what I said, it's not to say you can't have that Ten of Cups. You can, but maybe you just needed to be patient. Or maybe this is what's blocking you from achieving that Ten of Cups. Because currently your energy is towards the things that you don't have at the moment. Again, lack mindset which is quite interesting even with the energy healers nowadays i noticed that as well they have been talking about um that type of energy around lack mindset because that's the energy of the collective nowadays all right where people are really putting more of their focus on the things that are lacking in their life okay but now that you're aware, that's why I decided to come up with this reading, because we really have the power to shift our consciousness or our vibration. Now that you are aware, you have the power now to turn lack into abundance, all right? To turn your pain into power, right? It's all about you, group number three, or it starts with you. If you're going to allow yourself to be in that energy, then you can't expect a positive outcome, right? So this is a time for a lot of you guys to work on being grateful. To appreciate the things that you still have. And it will open new doors. Who knows, right? Fresh opportunities, new possibilities out there for you. And there's also something about faith, okay? I'm also hearing that right now. To have faith that... Good things or great things are coming for you guys. So, let's try to pull it more. What is the energy that group number three is currently embracing? You have your six of air. You 
Yep, financial constraints, right. Now, this is very understandable, you guys, because honestly, it really saddens a lot of us because of what's going on on around the world or around the globe that a lot of people are dying of hunger and that's because of a lot of people lost their jobs there were a lot of issues around price hike inflation all right brought about by the war as well and so it's not a surprise that a lot of people are struggling when it comes to their money okay i myself was struggling around that okay but I'm really picking up from Spirit that they wanted you to stay optimistic given that this is the situation and just to put your focus on what else can I actually do to help me overcome this, all right? If you're going to spend your time just sulking in one corner and cry over it or thinking negatively about your situation, it's not going to solve your problem. Put your focus on what can I actually do? What else can I actually do? What else can I actually work on so I can get past over this current situation that I'm in? Okay? Because I tell you, there's so many um, possibilities out there. I'm also seeing here with the six of air that a lot of you guys are really hoping that you can overcome the storm that you guys are in. And the storm had something to do with some financial struggles. Yeah, but look at this. You got victory and success. You guys are really going to be achieving this. Okay, just be patient. Just be patient. Because I feel for group number three, the energy that you're currently embracing is more about um, the energy of not being patient or being impatient on something. But just be patient, you guys, all right? Things are quite tough right at this very moment, okay? Everybody is struggling, not just you, all right? So I can understand you guys. I feel you, okay? Especially if you're struggling around money. But, yeah, Sooner or later, there's going to be rainbows. I tell you that because I'm drawn to this rainbow over here. Let's see here. Spark. Oh, my gosh. So, I'm seeing here for group number three. And again, the number seven. So, you might be seeing a lot of seven. Seven is a very spiritual number. A lot of you guys have chose group number three. You have a strong connection with the divine. Okay. I'm really hearing that. So know that the angels, the divine, or the universe has heard your prayers, okay? Believe in miracles. No wonder I keep on hearing the word faith, okay? There's something about faith for group number three. Faith is also a sign that you trust that things will happen for you, even though you're not seeing it just yet, okay? That's why there is what we call blind faith. So just believe. That things will turn out well for you, okay? Because I tell you, they're saying here that there's victory and success coming in for you in the near future. But maybe you just really needed to be patient at this moment in time. All right, let's see. What else? What energy is group number three currently embracing? Yeah, you got your the tower. So, yeah, I really feel that for group number three, something really significant happened to you guys. There was a sudden unexpected change that occurred. And some of you are still struggling in terms of adapting to those changes. All right. You're still kind of like shaken up from it. But then again, you do have the power to just pick up the pieces be gentle with yourself as you do that. Okay. To slowly rebuild yourself. One by one, all right? Step by step. That's really what I'm getting. Then you have here playing it safe. Truth be told. So now I'm seeing a different message for some of you. Based on these three cards now... Some of you are being encouraged by your spiritual team to change something, but you're not doing that just yet, okay? Either you're playing things safe or you're kind of like not wanting to see something, 
Okay, with this truth be told. It's like it's already right in front of you. You know that whatever it is that's happening right now is not working, but it's like you are still fixated on it. Like, I'm really hearing that from spirit. Like, you're being given some signs that it's about time to change something, whatever that is for you. But it's like you don't want to see it or you don't want to believe it. It's hard for you to accept the reality of things. I keep on hearing that. But your spiritual team are encouraging for you to, to make some changes for yourself. Whatever that is that you needed to change, you would best know that. That's what they're saying. Because right now, some of you or a lot of you are playing things safe. All right? You're not doing anything about it. But you know that this is a time for you to change some things. This is a time for you to release or let go of things as well. Just like with this window, releasing something, okay? And with this mask, I feel this is more like you um, kind of like covering things up. You're not wanting to look into it, all right? So yeah, group number three. Think about that. Whatever it is that you needed to change, which is going to be beneficial for you anyway, do that. Have the courage to take action and to let things go especially if this is not for your highest good because remember the tower card happens because something is not for your highest good anymore always remember that a lot of people they get really scared whenever they see the tower card but if you take a look at it from a fresh perspective or a different perspective it's just a sign from the universe that something is not really good for you anymore it's not for your highest good for instance maybe it's a job and you wanted to play things safe because you're afraid that if I actually shift careers, right, what's going to happen next? But you know deep down that this job is not really for you anymore or it's not for your highest good. So, yeah, that's just an example for some of you. Think about that. And speaking of change, you got the number 14, which is number five. All right. And five talks about changes. And again, number seven, because you got your 16. You got the number seven, like four times already in a row gosh a lot of repeating numbers for all three groups so let's see what else what energy is group number three currently embracing yep there's really something about lack Okay, something is not making you feel satisfied because you got your nourishment, right? Nourishment for me, it's also you feeling satisfied, all right? Um, there's something about feeling adequate, all right? And then we see here a lot of fruits and there's a bread over here. So, and then we have this really huge egg so there's really something about abundance for group number three and we saw the financial constraints so i really feel that your spiritual team wanted you to think abundant okay um they wanted you to step away from that lack consciousness because that's more of like what you're attracting more into your life that's really what i'm getting here you guys so let's see effort and then you have your love partnership and then truth now this gives me a different message now just by looking at the four cards now if it's all about love and partnership or love partnership rather i'm getting here that some of you again you're feeling that there's something lacking again there's lack consciousness for group number three so whether this is around love money or any other things okay that's making you feel dissatisfied so if it's all about love you feel as if that something is missing all right but what your spiritual team is kind of like saying here is that they wanted you all right to work on yourself first you are abundant that's number one that's what i'm hearing don't think of yourself as if that you are lacking love you are already love and if that's the case as well 
then you need to grow a beautiful relationship with yourself first, all right? Try to do some efforts on working on your own relationship with yourself. For some of you with the truth card over here, I feel that, yeah, there is something that maybe you really needed to look into, okay? Maybe it's about a connection or a person or just about your situation. But some of you are kind of like not wanting to look into it because it hurts, or you're afraid to look into it. Another thing I'm seeing here based on these four cards is that they're basically saying here that you shouldn't actually look for happiness or looking at other sources as your form of happiness. For instance, you would only feel loved, you would only feel satisfied or contented because you have this person in your life. That's not true. You can create or build happiness on your own. And as you do that, all right, things would flow. So, yeah, think about that, group number three. There's really something about um, some of you guys are always kind of like looking for love, happiness outside of yourself. And that's not true, okay? That's why I got the truth card. That's not true. You shouldn't actually see that as your own form of truth. Because the truth is you're already abundant. The truth is you're already complete. You don't have to look for other people to make you happy. You have to be happy first on your own. You have to be contented on your own first. So yeah, very interesting for group number three. Let's pull up more. Next, you have your grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, right? So yeah, a lot of you are embracing this energy. You may have lost something or someone. And uh, yeah, obviously, it's not really good. And we all experience this anyway. But then again, always ask yourself, if you're going to keep on embracing this energy, will it actually help you? All right. Will it help you to move forward? You can grieve on some period of time. Maybe, yeah, you can grieve about it. And don't rush, all right? Don't rush yourself. Some people, would, they would actually, you know, kind of like go through this process um, about what? Three months, four months, or whatsoever. But then again, at the end of the day, the point is, all right, you have to help yourself to release this energy. You have to help yourself to be strong and move forward from this. Otherwise, you would be stuck. And then he got here a time to give rather than take. So yeah, there's really something about balance again. I feel that group number three, um, this is also encouraging for you to create balance, that this is a time for you to put yourself and your own needs first, okay? Maybe you are really kind of like sad because you have exerted a lot of effort, time, money, energy towards someone and didn't get something back or you felt as if that you wasted your time and energy in someone who can't love you back or you just felt dissatisfied, in other words. So yeah, that situation is helping you to realize that it has to start from you first, all right? And don't allow others to always take from you because you would feel depleted, group number three. Oh my gosh. I love the message that your guides has for you because they love you so much. They wanted for you to realize the truth. But at the end of the day, it's entirely up to you if you're going to help yourself you're being ass ground, okay? Again, there's something about balance for group number three. You really needed to create balance in your life. Um, some of you are feeling unfocused. That's the energy that you're currently embracing. You're feeling unfocused. You're feeling tired. So try to ground, okay? Spend some time in nature. Do some meditation as well. So you can actually regain your balance. 
And then you got the purse or wallet. So again, there's something about money issues for group number three for sure. And this is actually making you really worried, of course. And anybody would feel worried, especially nowadays, that a lot of people are really struggling with money because of what's going on around the world, economic problems, right? So, yeah, that's understandable. But I'm seeing here that your spiritual team are basically saying that things are going to be changing for the better. You got the Six of Swords. Just be patient with yourself. Have faith, all right, that your time will come, all right? You are moving away from the storm, you guys. Yeah, because you got renewal. Things will be renewed for you. But at this point, you're being asked to take some rest and to heal yourself from any stress that you might be having right at this very moment. Maybe that's why you're being asked to ground and to meditate, okay? And by doing so, you would feel more focused. You are going to be feeling more balanced now. Your head is clear, all right? Those are the things that you needed to look into because that's your first step. Every time you catch yourself being unfocused, you're tired or exhausted, or you know that you're not in your best self, then this is a clear sign that, hey, you know what? I need to take a step back. You know what? I need to put my focus on how I can actually regain my balance back by distressing myself by cleansing myself, doing some detoxification or whatsoever, all right? So yeah, you're being encouraged, group number three, to take some rest and to heal yourself and to stay optimistic, most especially for those who are resonating with, yeah, some habits of financial problems. Um, I'm really seeing here, based on your cards, that change is coming for you guys, all right? Just trust, just have faith that... That would be a thing of the past or things are going to be renewed around your financial department, okay? And that you will get that Ten of Cups pretty soon. But first, you have to step away from the poverty or the lack consciousness. Because that's creating a blockage for you. That's more of what you're attracting. Most especially if you're not having the time to appreciate what you still have at this moment in time. Okay, so anyway, let's pull up some random messages for you before you wrap things up. Any message for group number three, please? Are you kidding me? You got renewal again. Whoa, you just got the message around renewal like less than a minute ago and you got renewal again. We see here the snake. I feel that group number three, you are in this process of transformation. Like what I said, there's something that you needed to release or let go of. Very Scorpio energy, okay? Because we are in the Scorpio season. I'm a Scorpio myself. And we're all about change and rebirth, okay? It's like you're a snake shedding old skin to release parts of yourself that are no longer needed. Whatever that is for you so you can have a brand new beginning. So let's see here. Rest. Are you kidding me? What the freak? I just said that because... I really heard it from your guys. They wanted you to take a break, to take some rest. And it says here, rest, switch off the mind. A short holiday would do you a world of good at this time. A change of scenery results in renewed clarity and sense of purpose. So yeah, oh my gosh, what a way to end this reading. Gosh, so your guys really wanted you to take some rest. Don't be too hard on yourself. Distress ground, meditate, that's going to be very beneficial for you instead of always overthinking things, worrying over things that would not solve your problem anyway. It's about time for you to take a step back, all right? Switch off the mind, quiet the mind. And for others of you, maybe it's about time for you to take some short trip, a vacation so you can distress, or maybe spend some time in nature. That is going to be beneficial for you. That's what they're saying here. In which you're going to feel renewed again. It's like you needed to recharge your drained batteries. Whoa. Okay, let's get one last message before we wrap things up. I so love the synchronicity for this reading. All three groups. Okay, you got here. Help her thought. 
your life is about to start moving very fast. Wow. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best as you can. So, for group number three, I feel as well this is a great sign from your spiritual team that maybe right now you maybe feel or you may be feeling as if that things are not moving forward, you're feeling stuck or stagnant, but yeah, you would soon realize that things are finally moving quickly, all right? So just be patient. Just be patient, you guys. And at the same time, for those who are resonating with, you know, deep down, there's something that you really needed to change, but you're still kind of like not doing it, or you're not releasing something, just like with the snake, all right? Your guides are saying, in order for you to see some changes in your life, you have to let go of something. Whatever that is for you, because that was so strong for group number three. Some of you are kind of like holding things back. You're playing it safe. And therefore, you're not seeing some improvements in your life. And that's the same message here. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. So there's something about you needing to have that courage to move forward or to do some form of action so you can see some positive changes happening as well in your entire situation. All right. So that's all I have for you, group number three. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And again, I hope you picked up something from this. That's actually the energy that you're currently embracing. And like what I said, now that you're all aware, because awareness is superpower, know that you have the power to shift it. This is the purpose of this reading, to help you guys to realize what is it they can actually change for the better. All right, because your guys loves you so much. They're the ones who's delivering all of these messages for you. Okay, they wanted you to be happy because you so deserve happiness and peace in your life. But you've got to do your part. Okay, you've got to help yourself. Otherwise, you would find yourself being stuck in the same old situation. Well, I'll end things with that. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.